Hello, happy sketching. Why do we need open lines? What are open lines? A happy problem for sketcher. If you don't know, just leave them open. Always remember this. This is the third rule. Here is Rembrandt again. You will find this principle everywhere. Maybe the place that is so damn difficult Teeth in the mouth, the chin, where is the ear? Where's the ankle? It's just left blank. That's it or no? Yes, a few more words. With open lines, the object is not constricted and not formulated in a conclusive way. It is precisely this non finito that has its appeal because our perception works like a permanent comparison. Our brain creates numerous schemata over the times of everything. The viewer constantly compares this image information, then standardizes and remembers it in order to be able to perceive it more quickly in the future. In other words, our brain works in advance. Let's take the example of a Mickey Mouse. Our task is now that you sketch a Mickey Mouse. So just the head, that's enough. Imagine a Mickey Mouse head, exactly. Do you have the picture in your, in your, uh, in your brain? Then take a pencil and draw it. Oh no, don't cheat, don't Google, just a Mickey. Otherwise, the experiment would be pointless. You know that, how a Mickey Mouse looks like. I now pause for 60 seconds and you draw. Do you have it? It was admittedly a bit mean because I already knew that you'd gone from feelings great, yeah, I make a mouse, I know him well, I'm sure I can sketch it to ooh, this is very difficult to sketch a Mickey. And yet you had the definite feeling that you knew what a Mickey Mouse looked like, but you struggled. You didn't even know the smallest details. How do you do the ears and the hairline? Mm, something like this and this, but mm, more? How does it look like at the whiskers? The nose? Difficult. Your brain outsmarted you and it always does. It cheats, by the way, because it's used to only ever seeing parts. That's why it can complement so well and you make you, and it makes you believe that you have seen everything exactly and know exactly. But the opposite is the case. You only know the details and not the whole thing. This is actually what we want to use with the fourth rule, leaving lines open. 
We use the inner image of our imagination. So we generally, we just have to trigger images and proof. The brain finishes it off super efficiently. So stop it, leave it open, just roll the ears, the nose, and you see the Mickey Mouse. In triggering the inner images, therein lies the art of sketching.